what it feels like Excuse me. 10 days after the fact, 12 days after, or just a little unusual? Uh, no, I'd say uh, with my history of it, it's about the same. Uh, it's, it's getting better. Uh, that's all I can ask for. What have you been able to do in walkthrough and practice this week and at different than last week? Uh, yeah, I've been able to go through the walkthrough, do that for the most part. Uh, I mean, I've really taken steps, everything, but just pushing the ball down the field for the most part. Uh, and that's just kind of part of it. Got to rest it for it to get better, uh, and it will. What's been going on with some of, just, with some of just the pain management and the therapy this week? What goes into some of that? One more time. What is some of the pain management and therapy that you've been going through to sort of make sure that the arm is ready? Anything different than last week? Or? No, I mean, uh, it's been getting better, so that's, that's the positive. Uh, but just... All the all the treatment, all the different things that they got, uh, that the medical staff have in there for me to do. Uh, but for the most part, contrasting the heat, uh, heat and ice, and just doing everything I can to make sure that uh, come Sunday it's better. Did you of course, your game is the same time as the Eagles game. So do you want to know what's happening with the Eagles game as the Cowboys game is going on? No, I mean we've got our hands full enough. Uh, we need to worry about what we uh, what we can control. As uh, simple as that, control we control, be our best in our game. And at the end of it, uh, we'll figure out what, what happened in that one. Did you throw it all yesterday and today? No. Have you guys tried to Friday or Saturday? Last Friday or Saturday? No, no this, like, tomorrow. Well, I, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll definitely try to give it a shot again. You guys lead the league in dodge passes, but you guys spent so much time in the offseason working on the timing and thought that you guys had that figured out. What do you make of all that? I mean, we've thrown it more times than, than a lot of people have as well. Um, but... A lot goes into that. I mean, you never just say it's those guys' fault. I mean, a lot of them I can make better, better passes, give them better chance to make the catch, uh, give them better chance to catch and run. Uh, and at the end of the day, those guys make a lot of catches that do help me out when I'm when I'm not where I, when the ball's not where it needs to be. So uh, that's not anything I turn to look at or point a finger on. It's just about getting better the passing game in general. And I think all those guys will say the same. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's. That's been what hurt us. I think you could say that for the most part. You look at it, look all season long, and even look in between games. Uh, just not being able to, to, to find the consistency, and whether it's week in, week out, or whether it's drive to drive, uh, and that's been tough for us to do. Yeah, for sure. Um, but it's, it's players. We got to we got to execute better. We got to do whatever it takes to to bring the same energy, the same execution uh, from the practice field to uh, to Sunday. Can you evaluate the preparation last week and the play you played with and whatever you did to manage that? Is there anything you did looking back at the performance you can modify to get to bring it out in this sense? Uh, no, I mean, not, not anything necessarily like I can say. I can do this better to make sure that I play better on Sunday. Um, just got to keep preparing the right way mentally um, and just uh, going out there and just and making the plays. I mean, I felt like I was, I know I was there mentally. I uh, didn't obviously make all the throws and make all the plays that I wanted to make, but uh, that's just something you got to move forward and try to get better at and hope you make them this Sunday. Tack, in your first three seasons, you had four or five fourth quarter comebacks and wins yeah, this season. Yeah, for sure. any this year, you're zero and eight when trailing at the half. What do you point to and what was working then and what's not working now? Yeah, I mean, if I had those answers, we, that wouldn't be the case. Uh, but that's definitely been um, been a frustrating part for me. That's something that I enjoy is actually is having the ball in in my hands at the end of the game and um, giving our team a chance to win. And was unable to do it this year. Uh, and that's the biggest frustration part. You go back and look at the past years to this year, one score games or close games, uh, we just didn't get it done this year. And uh, it was very frustrating. It starts with me. Starts with uh, this this whole group. What are some of the things that carry across those times you didn't get it done this year? Does it feel like everyone was a different situation? Yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone was different. Uh, that's the tough, the tough, tough part about it. There wasn't one thing that we're all that was always making us um, fail, I guess you can say, on, on getting points. But um, yeah, it's, it's one thing here, it's one thing there. Me taking a sack here, just a bunch of different things that can't happen in, in that, that situation in the game when it's that critical. This is the last game that Jason has on his contract for the regular season. Do you think of the consequences of where you guys are and how you got here? No, nah, I think it's the last game on mine as well. Uh, so <laughs> I'd be damned if I speak on anybody else's future um, or their place. Are you surprised that you don't have a deal right now? No, not at all. I'm just not surprised. Okay, that's the business you're in? Or? Yeah, it's the business. It's my first time going through it. Uh, I'm not surprised by anything. That comes that comes from it, uh, from the league, from the team, from whatever. Uh, learn learning as I go. Did you wind up taking a pain killing injection before the game last week and get it half time? I did what was necessary.
<laughs> the offensive line has allowed the lowest percentage of sacks on passing attempts in 2019. Can you just talk about the job those guys have done? Yes, yeah, yeah, so much credit to them. Uh, so much credit to them, especially from 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 last year to this year. Uh, the numbers are, are top to bottom. Uh, they completely flipped. And credit to them, credit our communication as a group, credit the receivers, the backs. Everybody takes a, takes a play. Uh, takes part in that uh, when your numbers tr change and when they ch change that drastically. So credit those guys. Uh, I've been proud of them. Um, a good part of the season. Before halftime, you went to the locker room a little bit early on Sunday. Was that to do what was necessary? Yes. <laughs> how hard do you find it to believe that are in this predicament at the end of your season and you don't control whether you win the division and make the playoffs or not? Uh, it's not hard to believe because that's what it is. That's the reality. Uh, it sucks. It's frustrating, disappointing. Um, but once again, all we can control is what we can control. Focus on this game, winning this game, and uh, if we're fortunate, uh, we'll make the most of it when that time comes. Does the fact that there is that little sliver of hope out there sort of outweigh the disappointment that I would imagine you guys feel right now? One more time. The fact that you still have a shot. I'm sure you guys are disappointed this week. Yeah, I mean, it may subside the disappointment uh, and give you a little bit of hope, but you're for sure disappointed. You're frustrated. Um, as I said, even even losing the games that we've lost all year, we've always been able to say, hey, we're, we're still in control. We still control uh, our destiny, and that's gone. So that's obviously frustrating, but you can't, you can't, uh, you can't come in, have a hangover. You can't, be, can't feel sorry for yourself. Nobody does. Uh, nobody feels sorry for us. So it's about coming in, executing, as I said, controlling what we can and giving ourselves a chance so when that happens, uh, we're ready to go. Does the feeling of it should have come to this outweigh any, like, hope about what this weekend could bring in terms of the potential playoff for us? Uh, I'm not thinking of any should have, would have, could have's right now. Um, it's about focusing on getting this win, and simple as that. Uh, and as I said, if we're fortunate and we look up and we get the we get the the, the end, uh, we'll be ready to go and we'll make the most of it. But as of right now, we can't focus on anything but these uh, but the Redskins. You look at no touchdowns against the Eagles. What to you is the number one reason y'all didn't make it in the end zone? Yeah, I mean we weren't elongating drives. We weren't giving ourselves a chance really. We weren't even in the red zone. Uh, and when you're not doing that, um, you're forced to, to capitalize on big plays and, and score on big plays. And we didn't have the big plays like we normally do. So uh, credit them. Uh, they did a good job, but uh, we just didn't execute like we're capable of.